Have you ever used a recycler before? There's a lot of different types of pieces out there, especially when you consider there's different things for concentrate, there's different things for flour. Some people like bigger and smaller pieces. There's a lot of different types of glass out there, but some of the best and some of my favorite types of glass is recyclers. They give you some of the best hits, and I think it's a lot better, especially for dabbing, than a lot of other options. Now, if you're not sure what a recycler is, but you know what like a regular piece or a rig is, a regular piece works by pulling the water up for percolation. Now, on a typical piece, the water will sit in the bottom. When you hit it, you pull it up towards the top or towards the mouthpiece. The water runs through the percolators. And typically before the end of your hit, more of the water is in the top of the piece than in the bottom. So when you finish your hit, all that water that you pulled up through the piece will drain back down through the percolators, through the way it came. The way a recycler works is instead of the water draining down through the way it came, a recycler will have another spot or another part of the glass where the water gets pulled through and it drains back down, recycling itself so that you can keep using the same water over and over again for percolating. A standard rig, usually the water just gets up to the top and just bubbles over and over again. But a recycler will keep the water going in a continuous loop which is really great for dabs because you're meant to pull it low and slow. Now, I can't really show anything here. YouTube gets a little bit weird with glass. So what I'm going to do is post a video of me hitting one of my recyclers on Instagram. So check me out on Instagram. It's Cupins420. And I'm going to post a video of me hitting a recycler right when I post this. So you guys can click over and see what it looks like if you're not sure. So I've had some pieces and I do have some pieces now for flour and concentrate that recycle the water. But I really, really like it for dabs. You see, dabs you're supposed to hit a little bit differently, and I think that recyclers do really well with dabs because they give you that same continuous pull. I have a lot of pieces, and some of the pieces that I have, the beginning of the pull is different than the end of the pull, especially like something with a lot of disc percolators. I've had three, four, or five disc percolators. On some of those pieces, you pull it, and towards the end of the hit, most of the water is at the top, and it's like a lighter pull, and it's not percolating as well as the beginning of the hit when the water was first going through the percolators which is fine for combustion hits. When you do a combustion hit, you usually start out a little bit slow. Once you get it cherried, you pull it a little bit harder to burn that bowl. And once you're done creating the smoke, you pull the bowl and then you pull a little bit harder to clear it. But with a dab, you wanna pull it low and slow the whole time. A lot of people hit dabs wrong. They think that the harder they hit it, the bigger the dab is gonna be. And it's kind of the opposite in a lot of cases. You see, when you pull on a bowl that's cherried, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create more combustion. You're gonna make more of that flour burn and give you a bigger hit. When you pull harder on a dab, you don't necessarily get more vapor. The vapor is produced a little bit slower because you need to give the concentrate time to vaporize on the nail. So pulling it harder when the vapor hasn't been created yet just means you're pulling in more air. And a lot of times it means that you pull more air through the nail, getting more air in your lungs, but you also cool the nail off because you're pulling extra air through it that's not necessary or not needed. So a dab hit truly is long, like a vapor hit should be longer than a smoke hit because you're waiting for that vapor to produce. If you watch any of my Twitch streams, I do a lot of session on Twitch. You should join me after 9 p.m. Eastern. I do a smoke sesh every night, but I was doing a really long hit on one of my pieces and somebody said something so funny in the chat that it's kind of stuck in my brain. I usually do a long hit on some of my pieces and somebody typed into the chat, this dude hits his piece longer than I last in bed. And while that's actually hilarious, I, I think that shows that a lot of people don't know that some of your hits should should be long. You want more vapor? You want a bigger hit? Well, it's going to take a long time to get it. But that long hit is really good for dabs. I feel like a really good dab, if you want like a big hit, it's like a minute long of producing vapor typically. I think like a combusted hit, like a bong rip or something like that, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds if you have a lot, which dabs take a longer time. I think it takes about a minute to get a good dab hit. A lot of these e-rigs that are coming out nowadays have like a 20, 30 second hit on something. Like, what are you doing? Why are you trying to bring glowies back? This isn't 20. 2014. I actually remember one of my very first recyclers that I ever had. I don't have it anymore. I wish I did. But the drain part I talk about where it drains the water back down, this one actually had a separate drain and it dripped out in the open, like from one piece or the top of the piece to the bottom of the piece. It dripped out in the open. I thought it was kind of cool at first. But after like a few hits, the little spot where it's supposed to drip through would just get clogged. It had a little bead there that would stop the airflow so you could get it hit. But eventually it would just get filled with reclaim. I don't know. It wasn't the best, but I still liked it. It was cool. Now I have a bunch of recyclers. I'm actually not sure which one I'm going to post on Insta, but follow me on Insta. Cupins420. I'm going to hit one of my recyclers over there. Tune into my Twitch stream. I do a session at 9 p.m. Eastern. Link your Amazon Prime. You can give me that Jeff Bezos money. And if you want to know what the munchies are like from Mexico, check out this video right here. I got 
got really high and tried some munchies from Mexico. Have a lit day, my dudes.